it just me? Or are the Casa boys just not giving? Please get ready to meet Billy, Deji, George, Chuck, Josh and Samuel. Some of these lads will turn heads while others will turn up. Is there an option to turn them around? Mm. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island Season 8, Episode 26. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. All right, so this episode was very lackluster. Very lackluster. I felt like they were trying to give us this whole, oh, look at everybody all loved up, oh, look at everybody all cute, to kind of um, set the tone for the Casa More Carnage that... I feel like it's not gonna come in the way that we want it to. I don't, I don't, but I'm gonna talk about that at the end, okay? But anyways, um, I understand why they left us on a cliffhanger because this episode was not giving, but in that cliffhanger, we learned a lot about a few people. So the girls chose to dump Charlie. Nobody is surprised by that. However, the guys chose to dump Antigone. And for me, I was, shocked i really was but clearly not as shocked as Paige. i'm in here i feel like i've already made an amazing friend for life the amount of love i have for this girl is unreal so i know that the tone around how people feel for Paige has been changing and for me the only thing for me that hasn't been sitting well with me with Paige is when she does this little like head thing when she talks and sometimes let me see if i can get her accent you know really like i really don't like the girls <laughs> she never said that but you know i really don't like danica you know like i really want antigone to stay that's not her voice but just picture it right sometimes the way that she moves her head gives me condescending but i thought that's just how she talks. How am I gonna judge the woman for moving her head? I mean, it's natural, I move my hands. That's just how people talk. But with the way that she's reacting about Danica staying and then also the whole shooing that happened two episodes ago, it's really starting to feel like, mm, there's more to Paige than what we initially thought. One thing about Danica for me that I love is that this woman is going to try come hell or high water. She came on Love Island and she plans on leaving here with something. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. I didn't like, though, that when she went to thank the guys for keeping her, Luca made it a point to say, like, oh, yeah, you know, um, we do appreciate that you, you know, grab the bull by the horns, no matter the circumstance. But if it were up to friendships, Basically, he was like, yeah, you wouldn't be here. It's Love Island, yeah, not Friend yeah. Island. And yes, if it was, do we want Antigone to stay as a friend, then she might still be there. Of course. I understand what he meant. I just felt like it wasn't a necessary thing to say in that moment. She took it on the chin, you know, she wasn't offended or anything. But I was just like, dang, this girl cannot catch a break. Like, her reception was not great. Her um, trying to make a match hasn't been working. And then now, like, at the dumping, they're basically like, oh, girl. If it wasn't for you constantly trying to put in the effort, you would have been gone. Like, like I just, I don't know. I just feel like Danica needs a redemption arc. And maybe Casa Moore will be that for her. The night of the dumping, Tasha says that she wasn't surprised that she was in the bottom. Honestly, babe, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're not surprised because maybe, maybe you'll start acting right. Who knows? But in the morning, it's really starting to sink in that, huh, the public doesn't like me. What is going on? Am I being shown as fake? Like, what is really happening here? And the night before, Dami did predict that she wasn't going to take it well. And sure enough, in the morning, she was not doing all right. Like, I just genuinely not, just feel like shit inside. I've been, been so happy and so good with Andy the past few days. And then to have this, it's just like, just don't. I'm just like, it's now making me think I'm being and Andrew actually compatible. Somehow she thinks that the reason why she's been voted in the bottom is because she and Andrew didn't um, get together like right in the beginning and they haven't had like a smooth sailing. If that was the case, Ek and Sue and Devide would be in the bottom. And so would Damien and India. Hell, even Gemma and Luca. So... <laughs> 
It's not the reason, girl. Okay, it's not the reason. My personal reasons, you guys already know. I'm not gonna say anything more because people call me a bully. But, but, I think, what do I think? I don't think when it comes to Tasha. There's, what is there to think about when it comes to, ta I'm just tired of her. Yeah, that's what I think. I think I'm tired and I'm ready for her to go. I think the only reason why she was saved was because it was kind of like doing a solid to the people who've been here the longest. And if she was dumped and Andrew stayed, he absolutely would have left. Or if he did stay, he would have had a hell of resentment for the guys. Like I felt like it was trying to do the least amount of damage. But if it were up to the guys, I feel like there's an inkling. If Andrew wasn't a factor, there's an inkling that she would have been closer to going home than what we think. I don't know. With Davide and Ekin Sue in the morning, they are starting to give each other the energy that they were looking for in the beginning. What are you, Ekin? I'm good, how are you? Oh. To celebrate the day we won. Thank you. Wow. As couple, so. What did you do, put? I see, I see you, you were smashing eggs. I said, oh, she's making pancakes. All right. The power of Ekansu compels me. It does. It does. I, I'm in. I'm in. I don't even believe that they will be a real relationship. But for some reason, when I see them on screen, I'm like, oh, oh, not you kissing him when he's just sun. Oh, I, I don't know. Something about Ekansu is just so compelling and I am in I am like even Davide like he said he was gonna go slow but he's giving her more energy than what he was back when he actually was into her without the issues and I'm like I get it sir there's something about homegirl you yeah you, you, you love her or you hate her and right now we love her so people pointed out to me in the comments that I missed <laughs> I missed Paige and Jax having sex Honestly, if you wouldn't have said anything, I really would not have even known. Something about Paige the last few episodes, I just, I've just been kind of like skipping over her. The love I had for her in the beginning is definitely not how I feel about her right now. And even though I missed the having sex, I did not miss that she's a cheater. How many times will? Oh, have I? Mm. Um, twice? How did you know? Why would you be so scared? me leaving you if not I'm like going for another girl the page tide has obviously been shifting for the audience and i feel like there's something about her that is going to come up and it makes me think of faye so when faye came on the scene i loved faye i was like oh my gosh faye is just like me like this is my girl and then came casa Amor, and then came the things after casa Amor and the tide completely turned on Faye. And I feel like that's gonna be the arc for um, Paige. And it's sad because at first she really was being painted as this innocent girl. She's so sweet. Like she definitely had like a Liberty kind of edit. But as things go on, she's getting more of like a Faye edit. And even though Faye got her man and Faye kind of had like, you know, a redemption story, I think a lot of people still kind of feel a way about her. And I think that's gonna be the same thing for Paige. Uh, Paige? I'd be careful. So in the evening, the girls get a text that they are going to have a girl's night out. Of course, we know that that is actually Casa Amor, so they don't get to plan to leave or anything like that. They just gotta up, go, and probably the guys are gonna pack their bags and whatever, whatever. But let's talk about these guys in Casa. Um, if you are new here, I don't remember names from people from Casa Amor. It's only gonna be the people who make it to the real house. So everybody's gonna have a nickname be okay with it, right? Um, not a fan. Not a fan at all. I felt like the guys picked, one, they all look so friggin' juvenile, except for, I think his name was George. That's the only guy that stood out to me, George. For the rest, we got Toothpick, we got Lollipop, we got Freckles, we got this guy whose name I don't even remember. And this other guy whose name I don't remember. But like, they're not giving. And especially when you compare it with these girls who are supposed to come in. Oh, y'all are snakes. 
y'all are snakes. I'm so sorry. Because right now we know um, the the only the only girls who probably are going to really capitalize in Casa are, I mean, Tasha loves anything that lives and breathes, so maybe her. Danica. Gemma's not going to like any of these boys, I don't think. Maybe. I'll give her like a maybe. Who else is there? India? She don't like none of them boys, okay? Um, Ekansu? These boys all look like they came out of um, Form 5. Like, no. It, no, no, no. Producers, what is this? What is this? You guys were giving us a stellar season. You guys said you had a lot of talent. You guys said this was going to be, you know, the, the, the real Love Island is back. Y'all really hyped us up to give us this casa? I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. And I don't even mean to say this as like, People here are ugly. That's not my point at all. I'm just saying in the main villa, we got somebody like Jay. In the main villa, we got Davide. In the main villa, we got Demi. And you gave us lollipop and toothpick. Okay, anyways, uh, that's it for this episode. <laughs> that's Why am I like this? Why am I like this? I'm just sharing my thoughts. Okay, these were my thoughts, unfiltered, slightly, because I could get worse, but I'm choosing to be nice. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see. We'll see if things change on Sunday. Maybe the girls will actually be into these guys. I don't know. I don't see it happening. Mm. I'm so disappointed. Damn.